Hey everybody, this is Amy from Glitter Meets Glue, and I'm going to show you how you can use Google Slides' really awesome replace image feature. This is going to save you a ton of time if you're creating these really cool virtual classrooms where you're using images to link to content. Why bother trying to fit the same image within a laptop frame or a picture frame or on your whiteboard when you can just swap the image out with a simple click of the button. So let's dive in. Um, I have a picture frame here and I'm going to make some space and enlarge in it. Now I'm going to need an image to begin with. So you might just already have some images ready to go. If you don't, You'll need to take a screenshot. So I'm going to be using um, a screenshot from one of my um, art game videos. This one is my Roy Lichtenstein video. So to take a screenshot, you're going to hold down Command, Shift, and 4. If you are on a PC, Command is Control. So Command, Shift, or Control, Shift, 4. And when you do that, you'll see this little target appears. And then from there, just line up the target and take your screenshot. Click, drag, drop, boom. And it will save the, the image file onto your desktop. So let's go back to the slideshow. So to get the image into your scene, you just drag and drop it in, or you can use Google's insert image and then upload from computer and locate the file. So I'm going to use this one that I've already um, created called Jazz. And you see it's such a large picture, so I'm going to grab it from the corner and just make it a little bit smaller. Now let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. There's a zoom feature here. It looks like a little magnifying glass if you click it, zoom in. And then make sure you're back on the select um, uh, button here where it says select it looks like an arrow. If you're still on the zoom it will keep zooming in. So I'm going to fit it to my frame and I can either do one of two things. I can crop it or in this case because it's a picture frame I'm not going to get upset to try to squish it a little bit. Okay, so it almost fits, almost. So once you get it to fit, you're usually pretty good. But to replace the image, say you decide that you're not sure if that one is the best fit, right? All you have to do is to select an image, and as soon as you do, Replace image here at the top of the screen will appear. If nothing is selected, that feature won't exist. It won't show at the top. So again, you select the image and then you click on replace image, upload from computer, and then replace it with an image of a similar size. Now, you don't wanna go and replace a rectangular shaped picture with something that's square because it's not really gonna fill um, the frame most of the way or all of the way. So I already have screenshots of something similar. It's the same um, screenshot from the same video. Um, this one's called Jazz Finished. And all it's gonna do is, boom, replace the image. So you can see you could save so much time using this feature. And I hope that helps you out a whole bunch.